Each college has its own personality and so we like to talk to people about well what is UC and where do we come from and part of that is our history um, and we have a very proud history of, of pioneering women um, as well as successful co-education. So uh, established in 1937 as a women's college and that was after about 20 years of women petitioning for their own college. So mm -hmm. they were living in other colleges, attending university, living in those colleges though as um, helping out either in the kitchen or as housemaids. Um, and so it was really important that women were given their own place. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, part of that history was moving on into co-education in the 70s. And we've been happily so ever since. Mm. Um, okay, <clears throat> so so UC is sort of known as being friendly and relaxed and supportive. Would you say that's kind of true? Yeah, though? yeah, I would definitely say that amongst all the colleges, you know, University College definitely has that reputation for being very relaxed and friendly and a really, you know, lovely, casual kind of environment. Um, and yeah, I think a lot of that comes from the student body is full of very diverse people. So you've got a lot of international students. And then I know when I first came in, majority of the people I spoke to were either from rural or mm. interstate backgrounds. So I think that kind of, yeah, it definitely adds to that kind of nice, close, you know, close knit community. And yeah, like I think it definitely comes across in our reputation as being just friendly and open to kind mm. of all people. Mm. And I think because a lot of um, our residents do come from places other than Melbourne, mm -hmm. they are moving away and they're looking for a, a, another home. And so exactly. I like to think that it's kind of a, a home away from home. And mm. I think that fosters that closeness that people genuinely have here. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a UC spirit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I like to say that it's about everybody having a go, everyone looking mm. after each other and being given a go. We might not be always the best college in yeah. some of the competitions, whether they're sporting or um, mm. cultural, but everybody supports everybody else. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think the kind of team spirit we have is just giving things a go you know, having a laugh and just, you know, it doesn't matter if you win or, you know, it's nice too, but yeah, everyone kind of just gets involved and yeah. gives it a go and has a heap of fun doing it. Yes. It's kind of our approach. Jump yeah. in and help everybody. Yeah, exactly. And you yeah. can't see it necessarily on the photo that we've just shown, or you can see lots of um, UC people in their UC merch, but every year it's really evident how many people from UC will mm. attend the events to support yeah. um, their fellow UCers. Yeah, so this one on the um, right is from Rowing Day. Yes. And yeah, like you'll have a huge part of the bank on the river just full of UC colours. It's, yeah, it's really great. Like mm. people get really involved. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and so we say that UC's best asset is its people. And we, I really believe that that's true. And I think it's all because of all those things that we were just yeah. talking about, how people look after each other. Um, get involved, uh, have a go at things. Yeah, it's really about our people. And I'm not sure if anyone's <clears> planning <throat> to come to Open Day, um, but you will notice it, I think, if you do yeah. come onto the grounds. Yeah, and you'll have, you know, current students showing you around, doing the tours, and yep. then some of us past students as well will be around there too to answer any questions. So, yeah. yeah. And if you do come along, along, yeah, make sure you ask a student what their experience is yeah. like because you can talk to people like me and I can mm -hmm. give you all the, the answers that I think you want. Yeah. But um, getting that, that real experience from somebody exactly. that's lived through it mm -hmm. is fantastic. Um, so at University College we have... We have um, undergraduates, we have graduate students, and we also have resident tutors who are grad students but um, are also staff at the college. So they've got a really important role. Um, they are tutors, they're mentors, um, and they, they also look after the college overnight. Um, so if there's any emergencies, uh, people go to the RT or if even if they're locked out of their room yeah. or just if they mm. need some advice um, and then they can escalate up to us. But the important yeah. part of this image really is that everybody exists in one community. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where they sit on that, yeah. that structure. Yeah, there's definitely no hierarchy between the two either. So I know a lot of the, you know, RTs that were in my years there are still, you know, they're some of my really good friends mm. now and they were when I was there as well. So yeah, there's definitely no hierarchy. It's just, yeah, like one big kind of community, definitely. Mm. 
that's good. Um, and so college is about <coughs> living together and learning together and I think we'll talk about the academic supports in a minute but I think the really important part of being in a college community is that sort of accidental learning where you mm -hmm. you live with people that will be studying the same course or um, may have done that subject the year before and so yeah. you can have as part of your living environment people to talk to, mm -hmm. to refer to, to kind of get some advice from and I think that underpins part of that academic success yeah, model. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you'll go into the library and you know around exam times there's heaps of people in there. If you need help you can always ask anyone, anyone's always open and yeah, like exactly like Liz was saying, there's heaps of people doing the same kind of subjects as you, but then there's also people doing different ones that actually give you, you know, a range of mm. kind of perspectives on things that really help. And also ideas about pathways then if you're yeah. looking at different courses mm -hmm. or different areas of study. Um, and of course, there's always the friendships that mm. are, are forged in a residential college community. And it's, and that, I mean, that can happen anywhere um, in a community, mm. but it's easy when you come into one place, um, you see people on a daily mm. basis and and it's organic as well as structured. So there's orientation week, there are there are intentional ways of getting people to interact with each other, whether it's through their academic mentor groupings, um, you might play sport together. Mm -hmm. um, there's yeah. lots of opportunities. Definitely, and I think it's a really unique opportunity that only really colleges do kind of offer and facilitate and you know, you can go in, go into university and be surrounded by heaps of people your age, but it's a very different environment and you're definitely not, you know, sitting with anyone at lunch and just starting up a chat with anyone like you do at college. Mm -hmm. um, the same goes for, you know, other kind of student accommodation op um, options that don't have that kind of communal spaces to go to. I think that's kind of what the college experience offers um, is those kind of friendships that happen just, mm -hmm. yeah, like Liz was saying, very organically, just people you know, coming into the dining hall, sitting down with mm. anyone, having a chat, you know, going to uni, then coming back to those same people at the end of the day and having dinner. And yeah, over time you just get to know people so quickly. Mm. Yeah. And did you know anyone when you came to college? Yeah, no, I didn't know anyone. So I moved from Queensland and came to Melbourne and you had no connections in Melbourne. And, um, but yeah, I mean, within a few weeks you felt like some of the friendships you had were, you know, nearly as strong as ones from people you'd been at high school with. For